Alright, a quick follow up to my last video caused lots of controversy. I'm surprised that the Bible is still so controversial. By the way, the slogan for this channel is God, Gold, and Guns. That Those are the three things that built America. And that's what we talk about on this channel. Uh, if you're new here, perhaps that surprises you. But let's talk about some of the objections that people had to my last video. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the Bible. Uh, many people, I'm, I'm really surprised by this, how many people say they'll never watch my channel again because I mentioned God. And they say, what does God have to do with gold and silver? Well, God has to do with everything. God should be a part of every aspect in your life. And the Bible is the word of God. Um, now, I, I am no biblical scholar, and I won't pretend to be. And, uh, but I, I know for a fact in my life, the more I study that book, the more valuable it becomes to me. And I realize that it has something to say about everything that is happening today. And everything that is happening today has been happening for thousands of years, including taxes. Some of you talked about taxes. You're leaving America because you're tired of paying taxes. And I, and I ask you, where are you going that doesn't have taxes? Taxes are a necessary part of having a government and having a civilization. So I can only assume that you're going to some weird, tiny little country. And perhaps you think that it's uh, free to live there. Some of these countries that may not have the most uh, well-defined tax system, by the way, they operate on bribes. So if you want them to unload the luggage from your plane uh, and, and get it through customs, you have to bribe the officials. And this is well known, and you'll figure it out when you get there. I guess, but um, and, and no place in the world is it free to live. You have to pay, and and paying is just a part of being in a society. We have to, you have to provide value to society. The more you try to seclude yourself, uh, the more cult-like and the more weird you become. So even in the Bible, it talks about taxes, and, and uh, I, will, I haven't looked at this story recently, but I, I do remember there's a part where someone asked Jesus, uh, should we stop paying taxes? And he says, no, pay unto Caesar that which is his, and he turns the coin over, and it's got a picture of Caesar on it. And uh, that's just a story I haven't even looked at in a very long time. But for me, taxes are just a part of life, and you, and you got to pay taxes. Uh, someone... Uh, someone said, are, are you getting, are you preaching against gold and silver? No, I'm not. I'm not preaching against gold and silver. I probably have more than you, allegedly. Uh, what I'm preaching against is the worship of it. Some of you have created a, an idol out of these metals. Um, let's roll back a little bit. Why do we have precious metals? Why do we have precious metals? Um, for that, we're going to talk about inflation, and this is this is a this is a a quite complex topic. I'm going to try to simplify it in the next two minutes. Why do we have inflation? For that, we're going to, have to talk about fiat currency. All right, why do we have it, guys? Fiat currency. The reason we don't have sound money anymore like we used to is because we uh, because of the great depression and because people tended to hoard their wealth so the government we created a federal reserve system and it forces people to spend money this is the key point if you this, that's all you really have to know is that right there inflation forces people to spend 
money. And if you don't spend it, if you hoard it, and we're just talking about fiat currency, cash, what normal people call cash, by the way, nobody in the real world ever uses the term fiat currency. They just call it cash or money. If you hoard it, you're punished by inflation, meaning that money will slowly become worthless. It's like putting an expiration date on it. But instead of it just hitting zero, it just slowly over time becomes worth less. Not worthless, but just worth less. Uh, this forces people to invest. Uh, and and that's why we have precious metals. It's, a, it's an investment. This right here is an investment. It's a way to protect your money over time and defeat inflation. Now, you don't have to create a whole uh, religion out of gold and silver, though, which is what a lot of you have done. You, you've, you've created this fantasy world around gold and silver in the same way that the Bitcoin people have created a religion around Bitcoin and they worship it. And that's just weird. Excuse me, I need a sip of uh, tea right quick. All right, thank you. Um, so we in, we invest, that's good, but then you invest and you just, okay, there it is. I mean, you don't have to worship it. And some of you go a little bit too far. You act like it's your savior. Uh, it's just an investment. The reason we invest in precious metals is because they last over time. Over time, it's it's a good store of value in a small space. It's it's immune to time. Like uh, for instance, you could invest in other things. You can invest in real estate. You can invest in the stock market. Those are good investments. Um, you can invest in ammunition. Perhaps uh, you just have to sell it. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to sell it at some point. Um, uh, you could invest, uh, you can invest in cheese or wine, you know, anything because inflation makes everything more expensive. Inflation is good for the price of gold and silver. It's good for the stock market. It's good for everything except for cash. Uh, the reason is because the U S treasury works with the federal reserve and the federal reserve sets the interest rates and the U S treasury determines the amount of cash in circulation, and they're always going to make more. Um, so th that's all fiat currency is, guys. It, 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 it's, uh, it's a way to prevent people from hoarding. And again, that's part of being a part of a society. You have to participate in society, and you can't seclude yourself with your mountain of cash all you have to do is invest it in something gold silver stock market real estate something like that simple it's not complicated uh did we talk about interest rates sort of we talked about interest rates you know in the bible one of my favorite stories is the parable of talents and uh the guy goes away he has three servants he gives to each according to their ability to one he gives a 10 talents, the other three, I forget what the numbers are. It's like five talents, three talents, one talent, something like that. And the fool, the foolish servant who he rebukes at the end and um, cast out of his kingdom is, is the one who buried it in the ground. And he says to him, he's like, you could have at least invested it with the bankers and collected some interest. So if even because what he did was he just buried it in the ground, literally. So you've always had to invest your money. That whole parable is about investing. That's why we talk about it so much. The one who refuses to invest, who literally buries his money in the ground, the king or the the master comes back and he says, you know, you you wasted a lot. You could have at least collected some interest, but instead. That money that I gave you is worth less than when I gave it to you. you. You lost me money. That's why he was mad. He said, you you know that I reap where I do not sow. That is a biblical way of saying, you know I'm an investor. I reap where I do not sow. That is the definition of investing. You, you reap where you do not sow. Meaning, he collects from where he doesn't work. He doesn't work. Investing is putting your money to work for you. Instead of you working for money, your money's working for you. That's how you become rich, by the way. I think that's enough, guys. We're at 10 minutes. 
I touched on the point. Um, and, and good riddance to the people who said they'll never watch my channel. Goodbye. You're, you're not more important to God than God to me. And you're not an airplane, so you do not have to announce your departure. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I even I've, I've even stopped watching people like Peter Schiff. I think Peter Schiff has gone too far. I think he worships gold. He's always complaining about inflation and taxes and he's a fear monger and I'm tired of that, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying gold. By the way, the best way to buy gold is in the ETF. I know that makes a lot of you mad too. So I'm gonna keep saying that too. Buy the ETF, buy the ETF and physical. Do both. Buy Bitcoin and silver. Do both. Buy gold and the stock market. Do both. Diversification is a very important part of investing. That's my word to you today, guys. I hope you got value in that. Uh, stay tuned, and uh, maybe we'll do some funny voices next time. Take care.